My name's Carrie Reihart. I consider myself to be an, an extreme craftivist and a renegade potter, and I'm from London, and I've been working for about 20 years. No, because I, I'm from a background of doing a degree in sculpture. So I studied sculpture first, I moved into ceramics, I've done print. I consider myself to be just an artist more than... The urban art is almost a name that they've given to a collective of art that I use because it's of popular culture and I'm trying to tap into certain ideas, but I don't necessarily align myself as being an urban artist. Okay. I consider myself to be more of a craftivist. I probably connect more to artists that are political, who are using their work to have a message with an intent, rather than just artists to use it as an aesthetic. I, off the top of my head, I'm struggling to think of... I love Charles Craft, so yeah. yes, I like Charles Craft. I like artists that use craft, who are skilled at what they do, and are and manipulating that skill for a reason. Most of my work is actually activism. I've spent the last 10, 12 years mosaicing my own house, mosaicing my own car. I do an awful lot of voluntary work and community work. So I really believe art has the capacity to change you know, communities, change societies. So a lot of what my personal work is about using my own skills to try and implement change for the better. The art that I make to sell is more about me using my viewpoints and my humour and the way that I see the world and, and reflecting that in my art. At the moment I'm just about to finish my house after 12 years of mosaicing it and so the top, this is a four storey house in Chiswick in London so it's all mosaic on the outside. I'm just about to finish it and it's going to be in memory of Herman Wallace who was a Black Panther who spent 40 years in solitary confinement in Louisiana State Penitentiary. So we have like probably a hundred plus volunteers coming from around the world to help us and finish this mosaic in memory of him. And that will be unveiled on the 26th of July. 26th of July. Yeah, we're going to close down the street and have a huge street party. <laughs> I've been writing to people on death row for um, about 15 years. And I've been writing to political prisoners, Black Panthers, for about 10 years. So they're my personal friends. I was writing to Herman for up to eight years before he died. Is he, in prison? he was his he was acquitted of the charge and they released him and he lived for about 48 hours after they acquitted him, having spent 40 years in solitary confinement. Well, yes, because the back of my uh, garden wall is in memory of my first pen pal, so it's to Louis Ramirez. I have a 22-foot mosaic memorial made for him that was executed in 2007. And then the back of my house has like an eight-armed black goddess that says the revolution is now all power to the people. And then front of my house is a huge tiki totem pole and half of it is all done like Alice in Wonderland. It's all, there's all hidden references in my work as well. So take you a very long time to, to really absorb everything that I've put into the house and it's all made up of ceramic text and tiles and hidden things. Because I've studied, I've spent about 10 years studying ceramics but I've studied print so I've specialised on the transfer of image onto tile so I'm in the kind of lucky position where I can put any image onto any tile. So I'm making the tiles before I even mosaic with them, which gives me, uh, it's unique, because there's not that many people who have the skill of ceramics, of printing and of ceramics. So really, my 20 years experience has all come together where I can use all these different skills that I have. Yes, and also because I search I studied ceramics, I can make components, I can do slip cast ceramics, I can make things, I can add that to it. So I think in a way it gives me an awful lot of creative freedom that most people don't have, which is the way that I can put a lot of politics and a lot of meaning into my work. I, I mosaic to a, a truck, I mosaic to truck, I work within a collective called the Treatment Rooms Collective and together we mosaic to truck. And on that truck is the death mask of the person who I saw be executed, who was a friend of mine in Texas. So I went to Texas 
to be a witness for his execution. Unbelievably, Texas is the only state in America that legally you can transport a dead body if you have your own body bag. So after he was executed, we took his body, took him to some woods, and did, my friend flew over from England and we made a death mask of his head within one hour of him dying. And then that head is sitting on the top of this truck. This truck was made in 2007, but it's now about to be the um, star exhibit in the Victorian Albert Museum, a, a show called Disobedient Objects, which is also gonna have the Gorilla Girls in it. It's got the suffragettes in it. It's got Reclaim the Streets. It's a kind of a, it's a show all about how um, the design of protest art so for me, I'm going to be with my heroes. You know, the Gorilla Girls is who I studied when I was at college back in the late 80s. So to suddenly be in the Victorian Albert Museum alongside them is huge. And so the idea is the truck will be in the V&A and then I will unveil my house two days later. And um, I'm also off to Mexico. I'm going to Mexico in, um, in September. I'm going to Mexico for three weeks because I won the Winston Churchill Traveling Fellowship. So they gave me money to go study mosaics. So I've been to Chile and now I'm going to go to Mexico and then I have to write a report and it's all about how to advance the craft of community mosaics in the UK. No, no, that's the funniest thing. Mosaics is the most maligned of all art forms. It's just derided and, and rightly so to a degree because most of it's awful. You know, it does suffer from bad design and all those things. But personally, I think that mosaic is the one thing that's going to have a renaissance of, of everything. I think that because of the advance in print and the advance of technology, there are now things you can do with mosaics that you could never do before. And because of people like me who've kind of made it a bit more funky and are using different iconography, I think it has the capacity to really become the thing in the future. I'm sure of it. <laughs>